Um, this is the Coney Flat Iron Building, is what it's called, is what it refers to as. And this was the original high school for Coney High School. This building is a land that was donated by Daniel Coney um, for the purpose of education. You guys, the door just shut. Watch out. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Okay, they want us to really What happened? Uh, there was a loud sound just now, and we just saw the door at the end of the hallway close on its own. So the sound, there was a piece of wood that was holding the door open. Yeah, but it's, I jammed it in there pretty hard. Oh, we there put that a, piece of wood. There was a piece of wood that was holding the between door Between the stairwell just, and the door. And that's probably what, that's what we heard hitting yeah. the ground. Right. Yeah, for sure. Just as you said that. Uh, he had donated the school for uh, education. Yeah. You're talking about well, Daniel Coney. So you have to turn it the other way. So, so which way did you go? Like, this and it went down and it dropped out. Yeah, uh, that's kind of because yeah. I had it like flat. Yeah, like that. So it's it's gonna push against that right there. Yeah. So okay. Well, that woke us all up. <laughs> that was interesting. If it goes on, I can see it. Okay, and I don't want it to fall either. Okay, there it is. In the middle of the floor, we have two devices. One is on the tripod, it is a flashlight. If you would like for us to know that you're here and you're communicating with us, all you have to do is go over to the flashlight and touch it or tap it, and it, it'll come on. Or if you can just turn the lens part, it'll go on and you can turn it the other way, it'll go off. Some spirits can do this, some spirits can't. We'd be interested to see if you can do it or not. And also there's a meter on the floor and it will measure your energy. So if you walk around it or go around it, um, it might actually uh, light up for us, different colors. It'll let us know that you are around us. How cold, how, what's the temperature? Oh, no. I'm moving. Yeah, okay, let's, let's just stop for just a second. Let's make sure all the doors to enter into this room are closed so we know we're not seeing headlights. It just went on. Okay, you need to turn that light off so we can start asking you questions again. While I was setting up that K2, it was... It was fluctuating. It was. I don't know if that light is stuck on now. Can you please turn the light off? Whoa. How long is that light on? Are there any students here with us? What? What'd you say? I was asking if there's any students. Students. What was it? What was it? 
it was like walking. I saw something. Up. What? I thought I saw a shadow up by that exit sign over you, Chandra. My, my video is... Shala. Shala. <laughs> You're, so, you saw... What? I thought it looked like almost a shadow up in that red light area. Okay. And then Shara? Yes. Then what happened? My radio went off and it's up here on my chest. I can't even touch it. And I have my hands in my pocket. Okay. Who, el who else has a radio on them right now? Raise your hands. Raise. Hold on. Hold on. How many of your radios went off? No. So you saw a shadow above Shara, and then Shara's radio went off. Okay, turn that light off if you want us to know that that's you. That was, that was loud. Oh. Light went off, and, mm -hmm. this, and, and then like we heard a huge thump on the ground like two or three times, and the floor like vibrated. This whole place vibrated. Yeah. But that was after we asked for a, an imp like impress us with yeah. letting us know that you're really here, and then all that stuff happened in like a minute. Yeah, with it, I want to say like thirty seconds. Yeah, it was like thirty seconds. Yeah, it was like thirty seconds, and I can't even touch my radio because it was like clipped right here. I could hear Shara's walkie-talkie go off. The the static sound it made and then it started to make a tone and the light went off at the same time and then it was like the whole place shifted and you could just hear the whole back wall snap so it was pretty interesting yeah so i heard after shara's radio went off and made some noises the whole floor felt like it shifted and then the balcony above me i heard it sort of creak back at the same time. It, it, what it sounded like to me was, I want to say a shock wave. Like when you slam a car door and you get that, that wave of air, it felt like the wall kind of like, like you had, I don't know, do, do you know, I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, that whole, you could hear it back there. The whole wall that goes up to the balcony is what I heard it on. We were doing some EVP work and all of a sudden, uh, Shara's radio started going off, and you could hear the static come across, and it sounded like almost like a tone coming across it. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, we felt the building shake and heard it rattling, and heard the wall over there, heard it rattling and creaking over there. So something kind of shook the building, and, and it was pretty profound. 